All right, what came in? I want the Democrats and Republicans to know that they still have an opportunity to get their act together. This isn't the end for them. But I'll tell you what, if they don't get it together and get it together fast, their party is over. Democratic members of the House Ways and Means Committee, I'm delighted to be here with them to discuss the, uh, the budget decisions that have to be made in the next few weeks. As you know, I strongly favor balancing the budget. Give us a break, will you? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I'm, a, I'm trying to balance the budget, and I'm, and I'm an ardent promoter of political reform, as you know, uh, but he'll have to do... Uh, whatever he wants to do, and the American people can make their judgment. Thank you very much. I appreciate very much. Uh, well, I've given a lot of speeches uh, during the campaign, and I've got a lot more to say, I guess, before it's over. The irony of this is that all of those Republican presidential candidates uh, traipsing down to Dallas to uh, kiss Perot's ring with the hopes of getting his endorsement, now getting slapped in the face by the prospect of a third party that will only hurt them, uh, it, it's just got to be uh, painful. My view is he ought to be out there helping us. We're, we're doing a lot of things that a lot of pro people wanted us to do. Obviously, Ross has every right to do what he wants to do. I would hope before it's over he decides to help Republicans who are trying to help the country. Reform. You don't want any foreign money, you don't want any soft money, you want everybody running for Congress to come home and raise money in his or her district. And if